we're at a point where finally the PlayStation fanboys and the Xbox fanboys have started to wake up, guys. Yeah, finally, you know? A couple of weeks ago, you know, it was just bad news after bad news for Xbox. We covered all of it, man. We covered all of it. We talked about it, right? And now, I guess, it is Sony's turn, guys. It is Sony's turn, and Phil be laughing right there, saying gaming for everyone while having no games, okay? No games. Where are the games? Where are the games? Where are the games? Right? Uh, it's like on both sides right now. PlayStation is struggling to have good games. Xbox is struggling to have good games. And right now, people are calling Concord. Of course, it's like woke trash, but minus the woke crap in it, People are calling this to be like equally as bad as the red fall of Xbox. But I want to actually show you guys this. So Dirk Griggity, one of the biggest Xbox fanboys that I actually love watching. I, I believe uh, that he brings some decent points as well. And he's entertaining as well. He's doing a video on the PlayStation fanboys being extremely disappointed after lackluster PlayStation State of Play. Uh, let's actually check it out. Like, like the video if you just want good games, man. Dislike the video if not. Let, let's see where everybody's at. Right here, and I just finished watching the new PlayStation State of Play, yeah. and I'm pretty disappointed. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Um. Damn. Brothers, be just not feeling that was it. Bad. Yeah. I don't so understand. Bad, the, I don't understand the PC. Some bullshit. <laughs> Some bullshit. Yeah. More bullshit. Now, I also streamed it, and I thought it was pretty odd. You know, we gave it, like, 5 out of 10. Yeah, it was pretty odd. I wasn't, like, this disappointed, because, you know what? I have been disappointed so much that it's like, hey, one more. Okay, who cares, right? One more, <laughs> one more time, guys. Another one, another one, another one. We went in with that kind of energy. But I feel like that a lot of people really were expecting, like, something big. And rightfully so, right? Like, even I want good games. Don't you want? Don't you guys want to be happy? I just want to be happy. I Don't you want want to see good games? I want to see good games, too. But, hey, guess what, guys? We're in 2024. Uh, so that's not an option, man. That's not an option. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's basically where we at. So this is why I was not disappointed. Pointed. I, I kind of saw this coming and it'll be what it be, bro. But these there poor. No way y'all end it like this. There's no way. But these There's poor no souls. No. Just. That's it. It's mm. done. It's done, y'all. What were you expecting? It's done, y'all. Huh? What were you, I have no expectations. Not that time. I mean, I, I didn't have any expectations, but I had ex expectations more than this. Olga? Okay. I have yeah. no expectations yeah. no more with PlayStation's uh, state of plays. Um, all right. So let's talk about that state of play. Let's talk about that state of play for a minute here, huh? Yeah. Um, that was oh. very, very bad. Okay. Another piece of bullshit. <laughs> oh, more man. bullshit. Holy crap. Yep, more bullshit. Damn. A lot of people on the internet are saying it's the worst state of play of all time, or that it was a catastrophe for the PS5. I wouldn't yeah. quite go that far. It was disappointing. They, they had multiple VR games, ports. Games yeah. that started to come out this year. Oh, everybody, everybody in the PlayStation reveal thing is like L, 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 Literally L, L, everyone L, L. in the chat for this PlayStation event is all saying L, mid, terrible. Extra bullshit. Oh. Dog shit. Man, 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 if Astro didn't show up, to me, this would have been a fucking complete disaster. Damn, even his cat left the show. Oh, absolute dog shit. Silent Hill, yeah, that's, that's absolute dog shit. The highest of dog shits. Damn. Some of the trailers were confusingly bad, but I feel like the bright points were at least halfway decent. But I, this is like a hard pass for me, bro. I can't believe Sony bought this fucking studio. I'm sorry, like that's that's crazy. And, and people in the comments are saying like MBG during the stream wanted to like switch sides and become an Xbox Xbox Andy. I, I can't. I can't. But it's good to see. Of course, the banter will always be there, and I hope the banter stays here, man. I want to see the Sony ponies. I want to see the Xbox Andes, right? Like, listen, man. Memes are fine. Like, fun banter. After all, like, these are just video games we're talking about. These are just plastics, right? Sometimes we gotta live a little. Sometimes it's okay to pull somebody's leg. Not, like, in a bad way, though. You just want to put it a little... Just want to pull it a little bit. Just a little bit, right? But, obviously, like... When you're in a glass house, just try to not throw stones, ladies and gentlemen. That's basically where we at, because suckers have throw, uh, through, uh, not just through, like, these suckers have, like, dropped rocks after rocks, meanwhile, they were in a glass house, right? So now, I guess it's coming back in a full circle, and listen, man, I don't have Xbox. I got PlayStation myself, bruh. 
I play on PlayStation myself, and I have to say this, absolutely. Let me actually show you guys this, okay? So I posted this uh, tweet over on Twitters.com. Uh, uh, get, get ready for the climax, guys. Uh, you're not even ready for the climax, bruh. So I just posted this tweet uh, here. Do, do you feel like the PS5 and Xbox Series X is the worst generation? This generation felt like nothing really happened so far, and we're almost four years in. Four years in and nothing really happened. I, I believe that. I believe that. Do you believe that? Let me know in the comments or maybe not. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, Dirt Griggity is coming in. Oh, this should be good. Let's see. Let me skip it here. All right, roll it. Community acts PlayStation. Why aren't you showing more PlayStation Studio games? We are going into year four of the PS5. And I got to be real, that's a valid question. Now, this is coming from a guy a couple of days ago. He was posting uh, bed sheets and pillows and shit of PlayStation. He's a real PlayStation fan, and that's fine. So these questions, I feel, are some valid questions. Yep. Us Xbox guys asked these same questions a couple of years ago. We know Xbox yep. was cooking. But we were like, damn, can we see some of these games? Yeah, so PlayStation is developing some games and these PlayStation fanboys thought that State of Play would show some of those games and obviously yeah. they did not. Yeah. When Xbox announced their showcase was coming June 9th, 2024, PlayStation fanboys immediately was asking PlayStation, yo, where's our showcase? We need to see what's going on with PlayStation. Where's our showcase, our showcase? And eventually it turned out to be a State of Play. Yeah. Now, most people understand that a state of play are, are smaller shows and not a yep, showcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But some of these PlayStation guys were hyping up this state of play like it was a showcase. <laughs> yeah. This is exactly why I wasn't like, you know, this is why I didn't have high expectations because it was a state of play, guys. It was a state of play, uh, state of play, uh, play uh, state of play though. But yeah, right now a lot of people are waking up right now. Like a lot of the Sony ponies are mad. A lot of the Xbox Andes have been mad. The Xbox Andes always being upset. Like they have been getting digged down by Phil Spencer. And, and the Sony ponies are also getting digged down as well. Like both sides are equally, right? Like one one day it's like the Xbox Andes getting that treatment. And another day, which, is, uh, which happens to be today, right? Today the Sony ponies are getting that treatment. My point here is that guys, listen man. Sony ponies, Xbox Andes, listen bruh. We need to come together, let's come together, let's make a temporary truce, and let's ask for free online on both sides. Like the video if you agree. I feel like that this is the only only way to bring Sony Ponies and Xbox Andys together. We demand, as a brown man, I demand uh, PlayStation and Xbox to make online free to play, okay? It used to be free to play back in the Sony Pony PS3 days, okay? I demand free online for everybody, man. Even on the Xbox side, bruh. Like, everybody deserve that. Everybody deserve that, bruh. Like the video if you agree, bro. Clearly, it's not. And after watching the show, The State of Play, it was dog shit. Astrobot looked great. But if Astrobot is the height of your show, yeah. you're in deep trouble. <laughs> Yep, Concord yep, yep. was a letdown for everybody. Nobody knew what to expect from this game. All we knew it was a first-person shooter, but we didn't know it was a hero. Uh, honestly, like it did look good, actually. You know? Like I, I give it a uh, five out of ten. Yeah, it look kind of I mean, yeah. It is like 5 out of 10, 4 out of 10. Some people would give it like lower than that. CGI, I mean, the game don't even know what it want to be, right? Like Guardian of the Galaxy, Overwatch, Valorant. Like everybody was saying that, right? And most importantly, it's a live service game, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, it's over. And on top of that, Concord is one of the wokest game of all time. I did a video, I will link you in just a little bit. Even a robot in the game has pronouns. I believe they, them, or he, him, or she, her, something like that, right? Yeah, 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 so shooter we didn't know it was an overwatch uh clone we didn't know it was a, a guardians of the galaxy clone you know yeah. the game just didn't look good and you know and i know playstation guys don't like games like that the only first person shooter playstation guys like is call of duty oh, now man. pc guys they will probably give this game a chance but who the hell knows at this point but you know when playstation has a bad show the first thing you see is guys asking about their next show <laughs> uh this guy yeah, responds yeah. to jay barry he says barry they are coming they had heavy hitters, so they are reloading the chamber. In the meantime, enjoy some Xbox games on PlayStation. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> there they go. That's all they have right now, y'all. All they have is Xbox games going to PlayStation. That's what they have. That's their. Hey, hey, listen, man. Listen, I, I know Dirt Greed is a is an Xbox fanboy as well, uh, and we're checking out a fanboy video. But listen, man. On both sides, we're lacking games right now, bro. Uh, Xbox also got no games, bro. Like, I'm I'm sorry, but like. <sighs> Like, dog, like, the best game that Xbox has so far is Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> and that's old, bro. That's also old. I'm talking about the new games right now, right? Like, we got nothing. On both sides, guys. On both sides. 
there is nothing going on this is one of the lamest generation ever bro one of the lamest generation where are the games bro but it's good like i'm now seeing now i'm i'm really seeing of course it's not everybody but i'm i'm really seeing like sony ponies playstation fanboys and xbox fanboys both of them are waking up and realizing that yeah like both of these companies are just dicking us down that's basically what it is we're all getting catfish right now ammunition that's their go-to narrative right now <laughs> i think that's pretty sad you can't talk about your games so you go to what xbox is doing <laughs> then this guy says bro the showcase coming and, and summer, summer fest. game fest we do not care summer game fest you mean the one that's next week <laughs> showcase is coming listen they probably will have a showcase later this year to talk about the ps5 maybe, pro maybe, maybe. but yeah, damn oh, the yeah. state of yeah, play yeah. just was over with you guys immediately after the state of play start talking about another showcase just like you guys did last year remember that dog shit showcase y'all had last may <laughs> They immediately started talking about, well, we have a secret showcase coming in September. Yeah, I remember, like, everybody was like, we're gonna, there's gonna be a shaking showcase. There's gonna be a, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember there, yeah, people were saying that there's gonna be a second showcase, uh, and Sony was holding back because of the Activision deal. Once the deal goes through or gets cancelled, uh, vice versa, that's when they're gonna, like, reveal the second showcase, but the deal went through and they did not do second showcase. Uh, Spider-Man, I remember, did save the showcase at that time. This time we're getting, uh, we're hearing it's gonna be in September. Yeah, makes sense because they previously also done in September, so maybe they're gonna do it in September. Now, they're gonna do it, like, PlayStation 5 Pro, they gotta reveal that, right? And I hope they reveal some games with it, too, like, dog, like, where are the games, bro? Where are the games? Where are the games? Where are the games, bro? This year is the same shit. Look at William, he said, showcase in September. There we go, guys, showcase in September. Uh, like I said, maybe they will have a showcase this year because they have a PS5 Pro they have to reveal. No, they gotta, they gotta, yeah. They but gotta. we don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, I, I'm just like wondering if they're gonna reveal any games. Um, probably, I guess, but are, the, are those games also gonna be live service? Are those games gonna be woke? Full of, filled with microtransactions, filled with politics, right? Uh, and also, like, those games are probably gonna come out on PC as well. So does that mean that those games are also gonna be, like, requiring playstation network right always online it's like I, I said it in the last video like sony listen bro i'm dying out here sony be like nah but first you need to shine up for playstation network a and then tell us what how you're feeling tell us your symptoms right like holy crap what are we doing here bro like gaming is uh, taking a nosedive bro like yeah dog. this guy says uh jay barry what are you waiting for the PS5 sony pro. the ps5 pro bro hey <laughs> Who are these niggas? <laughs> oh, I cried laughing. Yeah, I you know what <laughs> like, like, we need to stay away from these niggas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's so funny. Yeah. The PS5 Pro just seems like the most useless hardware ever. We just saw a report that 49% of people are still on the PS4. And the other 49% is on the PS5. Yeah, and this is why apparently, like, we're hearing that last gen is gonna see Call of Duty. And, and it's not, uh, it, this is also c uh, kind of true for Xbox as well. Like, a lot of people are on the Xbox One as well. And this is why Call of Duty is gonna be Black Ops 6, right? It's gonna be on the last gen as well. Not necessarily just on PS4, it's gonna be coming on Xbox One as well. But, of course, the numbers for Xbox One and Series X are lower in comparison to PS5 because, yeah, there, there it is. But... But it's kind of interesting, right? Like, a lot of people still are on PlayStation 4. It's like 50-50, right? 49 million on PS4, 49 million on PS5, right? Like, it's insane that uh, half of it uh, are still on PS4. I guess they're not finding it any, any value, rightfully so. I mean, why would they find any value for on PS5 when all those games are on PS4? Some people do care for the graphics. They want the prettiest graphics fair that's fair but others do not care that's why they're still on ps4 which is also fair some people don't care for it and especially in this economy where you know everything is just like reaching sky high i'm talking like the pricing and all that and the money is like you, you know back in the days if you were making a hundred dollars a a day yeah you were good but now if you're making a hundred dollars a day that's not enough you need to make somewhere around like 160 170 to be able to say that you're making a hundred dollars off uh you know 2019 2020 before the Roni situation yeah so inflation is on the rise so if people are not buying ps5 i understand i understand some of them probably have their priorities they want to like uh, put their money somewhere else absolutely 
or they're not seeing super value in PS5 and also in Xbox as well, right? Series X as well, yeah. Or, yeah, it, it'll be what it be though, so. So who in the hell is gonna buy the PS5 Pro? I guess it's the hardcore ponies. It's yeah, a waste. Yeah. Hi. Uh, and also, like, as a YouTuber, I, I said it again, like, uh, I would have to buy because, yeah, gotta make videos on it, gotta showcase, uh, but I'm gonna create in PS5 for it, like, it'll be what it be. I, I genuinely don't wanna buy a PS5 Pro, though, because, like, what's the point, bro? Like, we ain't getting games there. Uh, yeah. Who was an extreme pony, he even questioned, I'm, I'm sorry, he even criticized the show. He said, wasted my time, man. We're four years into the generation, and this is the Holy, shit they have in yeah. store for us? Where's Lazy Dog? Where's Ghost of Tsushima 2? Where's Big Lazy Studio dog? next game? Do you mean Naughty Dog? <laughs> Oh, man, that is crazy. Okay, I, I seriously did not know that many people were disappointed. If you saw my stream, though, I, of course, like, I was giving it, like, hey, 5.5 5, 5 out of 10, right? Yeah, pretty average, right? I mean, yeah, it'd be what it'd be. I mean, I, I, I was not expecting a miracle or anything. It was a state of play. And in 2024, Brad, like, where are the games? So I saw that coming. I was, I was not disappointed, though, because I saw that coming, right? But now I'm figuring out that a lot of people are really disappointed. Holy, like, I, I think a lot of... And rightfully so, bro. bro, like, you have the absolute right to ask for games, bro. You bought the product. Where are the games? I absolutely agree with that. Like, it's enough of being, enough of being a defeated gamer, bro. It's enough, bro. Like, I feel like that people should demand more. Absolutely. Gamers deserve more. I, I would always be behind it. Absolutely. Thank you for, uh, thank you for subscribing. And I'm losing my voice right now. So, uh, my bad if I sound a little funny right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm losing my voice right now. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, absolutely. I will stick with... Gamers deserve more. Where are the games? Where are where are the games? Where are the games, bro? I get a feeling that there will be no other showcase this year. If that's the case, then huge L. Why are you so mad right now? Fuck you. Look at this. A pony that's actually criticizing PlayStation. That's rare, especially from a guy like Height, who is a extreme, extreme pony. Yeah. Look, man, you know, it's okay to be disappointed. A lot of us Xbox guys are disappointed with Xbox yeah. new strategy. Yeah, There's yeah, a lot yeah. of things, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys are used to it. So now you're saying, finally, you're seeing the, the PlayStation fanboys uh, getting that treatment. I, I, I hear you, brother. <laughs> it's coming in full circle, man. This is why I'm saying, guys, like, if you're in a glass house, don't throw some rocks, man. It's gonna go. <laughs> It's gonna come right back. And I have this motto, bro. I have the simple rule, bro. These corporations don't give a damn about you, bro. Like Sony, PlayStation, uh, Xbox, Microsoft, they don't give a damn about you, bro. Like, why even sim for these consoles? Because nowadays, it's like, if you, like, say one thing bad about a game, the seconds are like, bro, they take it as somebody insulted their mother. You say one thing bad about PS5 or Xbox, seconds would act like that you have insulted their mother. Bro, like, who cares, bro? Okay, let, for example, right, like, I, I would say, like, I like God of War. Generally speaking, I'm a fan of God of War. Minus the woke crap that they did with God of War Ragnarok. I, I, yeah, I like the franchise. You don't like it? Perfectly fine. You can say it's trash. Am I affected by that? No, because I, I like the franchise. That's it. You don't like it. I understand. Simple as that. So And, and vice versa, right? Like if you say Halo is trash, objectively speaking, it is. <laughs> it is trash. Right now it is. Back in the days, a lot of people loved it because it was decent. Right now that I say it, somebody's gonna get mad, bro. Why? Why? It's just a game, bro. It's just a game. Some will like it, some won't. These corporations don't give a damn about you. This is why they treated Halo the way they did, right? Same goes for PlayStation right now. Concord, we're getting it. Uh, Silent Hill, it's a uh, woke galore. Uh, Concord, Concord, woke galore. How many times people said that we don't want this? Enough is enough, right? With Stellar Blade, they censored it. Hell, 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 Dirich, hell, Dirich too. They did the PlayStation Network crap. Right, and people spoke about it, spoke against it, they changed it, but still not fully. And guess what they're doing again? They're doing the same crap again with God of War Ragnarok. And again, it's a single player game, right? God of War Ragnarok coming to <laughs> PC, and you need to have a PlayStation Network account. And in so many countries, PlayStation Network is banned, or not necessarily banned, but they don't have the service there. So if you don't have the service in that said country, you cannot play a single player game mind you single player game it was totally fine a couple of years ago to get yourself or buy a game and never needing online always online and you could always play single player game for online for a multiplayer game yeah sure understandable you need the you you need the internet okay you need to be always online for a sing, uh, for a multiplayer game but for single player game i mean damn bro like damn homie that's that we're not happy about it we should let everybody know and hype is not happy about this day to play Bruh. and i got to be real y'all 
Silent Hill didn't look that great. Concord definitely didn't look that great. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. of the other games were multi-platform. I, I think the CGI for me personally did look good, but uh, yeah, a lot of you guys were also saying in the chat, cringe, this and that. Yeah, it was cringe. I, I, I agree with that. But to me, it did look good. But listen, I'm coming from a point that uh, I'm coming from, like, this is where I'm coming from, right? Basically, it looked good to me, but it's 5 out of 10. <laughs> But it's true though. It's true though. But what I mean by 5 out of 10, I'm not buying it. Simple as that. If I give a game 5 out of 10, it's average though. Uh, it does, doesn't mean it's good, doesn't mean it's bad. I'm simply not buying it. It looked good for me to watch it, but I'm not buying it. It didn't look good enough for me to buy, right? And Astrobot looked great. Astrobot looked good, yeah. Astrobot was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ayo uh, says, L from me. Oh, damn. 3 out of 10 event. If not for Astro, a 1 out of 10. The Sheesh. showcase later this year has to blow everything Sony has ever done. Look, Payo is another guy that was extremely disappointed with the state of play. Everybody he was disappointed, disappointed in it. He said Everybody it was disappointed. And this is that video. This is that woke galore video. Yeah, Sony all going woke. Xbox has already went woke. We know that. But now Sony is going fully woke as well. Check this video out. You want to see what happened? Check this video out on the left. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left, guys.